If you haven't already been bombarded with ads, Mandalorian Season 2 comes out October 30th. And it is for this reason why I have decided to make the Darksaber from the very last episode of Mandalorian Season 1. And if you have no clue what I'm talking about, it's the TV show where Baby Yoda comes from. Originally, I designed this to cast in aluminum, but I scrapped that because it was extremely hard to do. So now, it's just a matter of 3D printing and putting it together. I spray it down with some chrome paint. See how it looks later on. Kind of running out of this stuff. I've been using it quite a bit. I'm definitely not the best painter. While that's setting, I'm gonna go ahead and super glue this last piece on here. I waited to super glue this last piece in case I had to redesign it based on the whole width of the aluminum one, but once again, we're not doing that. Right, and all of this stuff is 3D printed with some clear PLA. It's really hard to find in PLA, so if you were doing this, I'd use PETG, but I have a really cheap 3D printer, so it can't even melt that, or it's not really good at using it, I don't know. So this is my very first print with the clear filament. It was actually supposed to be Rick's portal gun from Rick and Morty, but I couldn't figure out how to cast it in aluminum because of this little undercut here and how tall it was. So scrap that. I'm going to show you what I need to do and why I need to do it. So let's turn the LEDs on and stick them in here. You can see where the lights are the closer it is or the further away. So that's gonna be the same issue with that thing. So we're going to have to find a way to diffuse the light to look more like that where it's in a straight line instead of two separate dots like that. So if you can't already tell what I'm doing, these LED lights have a USB plug-in. So I wanna be able to carry this thing around and not have it connected to a outlet all the time. So. What I did is I went ahead and bought these portable chargers. I bought two, just in case one broke on me. So they don't actually fit. Maybe they do. Uh, it's not that great of a fit. See how it left a little bit of a gap. Either way, I don't want to use that one. I hate this one because I worked too hard on making this one. So I tore off the shell without completely breaking into it. So it's not going to explode on me. So that should fit a little bit better in this one. So now what I need to do is go ahead and put the LED lights on this thing and then cover it in some parchment paper and we should be good. All right, here I have my dark saber lighting right now. And um, this is just six feet of LEDs. I could have bought a more fine grain or whatever you would call it. So basically it would be one every middle and here. So it'd be double the amount of lights, but that's also double the cost. I don't feel like doing that. And they only sell them in one meter strips until instead of two meter. So yeah, I didn't go with that. And my stripped thing works. That's great. You can even touch it. Won't shock me. Won't blow up. That's great. All right. Now that we have that done, let's turn off the lights. Looks pretty good. Let's change the colors. Darksaber is supposed to be white, so this is white. Might look a little blue. Let's turn it to red. It's a little bit more dotty at red. Blue. Green. Strub. <laughs> Alright, next step, parchment paper. Alright, quick updates. So, scrap that idea. And, um... This cord is a little bit too long, so I think I'm going to cut it and solder it. But I have no clue how to solder, so I'm going to just figure this out. I wanted to show this on camera, so I ended up making a time lapse, which is really annoying because then I have to find music for the time lapse, so I decided not to do that, so I'm just going to talk to you about the struggles of finding music. Isn't that like a... I'm probably going to get copyrighted for that too, aren't I? Yeah, copyright music is really hard to find. And saying the sound of music probably is copyright. All right. So, for never soldering in my life, I think I did okay. 
I'm just gonna wrap these pieces with some electrical tape and hopefully that should do the job. Oh, there's only one way to find out if it works. Please work. Please. Let's go. With casting, you can't work with what you can't see. So this one I can see and I worked with it. Feels good. All right, so it looks like I am actually done with the part that I know how to do and that I'm good at, which is 3D printing and spray painting and gluing and electronics. Now it's on to actual painting, which I am not good at. So hopefully this goes better than I'm thinking it will. So when I actually paint this thing, I'm wanting these little pieces to be black and I'm going to weather these I'm going to try to weather it by just like putting on some paint and then wiping it down with a paper towel. So hopefully that'll work. I'm also going to try to cover up these little smudges that I got from fingerprints, just from trying to work with it too early. So yeah, let's do that. Oh, would you look at that? It's unthinkably long time lapse time with really annoying YouTuber music. Woo, let's do it. I did there. Made you think that it was over because the music went down. Gotcha. of accurate some of the dark sabers have the white stuff right here along the edge the edges but I went for the lightning design because I liked it more so all we have to do now is stick that little thing in this thing and turn it off all right here we go so I've got my controller right here let's see if I can actually turn it on through it it's red it's supposed to be white though so let's see how that looks Looks kind of cool. It looks kind of bluish, which is kind of weird. It's kind of blue. Let's try blue anyway. Blue doesn't look bad. Party mode. I have to white, so I don't give you a seizure. All right. I like it. Now let's turn the lights off. Now one issue is in the dark, you will see this, but your hand can cover it. So, you know, it's not that big of an issue. So we're in the dark, it's only like three o'clock in the afternoon though, so try it. Oh yeah, that's a dark saber if I've ever seen it. Let's look at the other side. Not great, back to this side. <laughs> that's all that it's just painting. Either way, I'm proud of it. Hope you guys liked it. If you guys were wondering, yes, you can pick it up by the handle and then swing it around. So, you can hold it like that. Now there is a possibility if I turned it completely upside down, it would fall out, but 
it's pretty hard to already put in, so I would imagine that it doesn't. Or I could just super glue it, but that way I wouldn't be able to charge it back up. So for now, I'm just gonna keep it like this. This side is very bright, this side not so much. You can see that there are some holes because there are some lights poking out that at you. And that, that's a dark saber. If you want to make this at home, you definitely can. All you need is a 3D printer and like 30 bucks in your bank account. So, all my 3D printer files will be on Thingiverse, linked down in the description. But if you go that far, you might as well subscribe to my channel and watch a couple more videos. If you want, I really don't care. I've been working on this project on and off for the past three weeks. So, if you don't mind dropping a like, anything like that. Once again, don't care. You don't have to. Thanks for watching. One last thing before I let you guys go. If you want a stand to hold up this thing, all it takes is one guy in the comments to tell me to do it, and I'll do it. Now, that's just embarrassing. I'm just kidding. Thanks for 200 subs, guys.